What's going on guys? I'm here in the apartment and I we had kind of a rough day yesterday. All sorts of things happened, so I'm kind of throwing together a video really quick to get online today. I'm back on live time, which is exciting for the vlog. It means that this video that I'm filming right now is actually going to go online this afternoon. And it means that the video I film this afternoon is going to go online, I guess, Wednesday when the videos start going back online. So I'm back to live time, back in Cape Town on live time, which is always fun on the vlog. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so because there's going to be lots of fun vlogs coming up. We're going whale watching. I'm going to go do some landscape photography here in Cape Town. And there's going to be some more business related videos. I'm going to be talking about Instagram a lot. So go ahead and subscribe right now on today's episode. I'm going to talk about the ways you can make money as a photographer without having a big social media account. I hear people all the time saying that you need a big social media account before you can start making money in photography. I hear people all the time saying you need 10,000 followers on Instagram before you can get work. That's simply not true. There's a ton of ways to make money from photography even if you don't have a social media following at all. And I kind of thought about this video and doing this video because I was thinking back to my grandpa. And my grandpa wasn't a photographer, my grandpa was a teacher. But my grandpa has the most cool photo of all time of himself back in Edmonton, Canada in I guess it would have probably been, I don't know, the 1940s? Maybe 50s? I'm not really sure. But the coolest photo of him walking down the street looking like James Dean and I just thought, how did you get that photo of yourself? That photo is so cool. And he told me the story that back in the day in Edmonton, there used to be this guy on the street with a, a big camera and he would just snipe photos of people walking down the street and then he would stop them and try to sell them the photo. And I thought that was so cool. I also think that there's still people doing this to this day. In fact, I posted in my Facebook group the other day asking for people um, to throw their ideas of some alternative ways that they're making money through photography uh, right now. And somebody commented that they go to events, competitions that their daughter's in and take photos of everybody and then potentially try to sell some of the photos to other people's um, parents, to other kids' parents. And I thought that was so cool. I think there's so many ways to make money from photography and you definitely don't need a social media following to do it. In fact, I think a very, very, very small percentage of people are making money from photography because they have a social media following. So I listed 12, let's get into these 12 things. I wrote, be a flytographer. That's number one. A flytographer is something I kind of came across in Santorini. In Santorini, I saw all these people doing portrait sessions. And I thought to myself, wow, how did they find a portrait photographer there? And then I asked a couple that was being photographed and they said they went to a website called flytographer.com. I did some research on it. There's also one called shootmytravel.com. And essentially what it is, if you live in a destination, let's say you live in London or Paris or really anywhere that people travel to, you can sign up on this website to become a photographer for this destination. And then if me and Jody decide, hey, we're gonna go to Paris, we want some really cool photos of us traveling, we can hire a local photographer on flytographer or shootmytravel.com. It's a really, really cool method and I think a really cool model and a cool way to make money as a portrait photographer, as a destination photographer without a social media following. The next one is running local photo tours. There's so much demand for local photo tours. I had somebody drop me a question on my Instagram account the other day saying, hey Brendan, I wanna make money from photography, but I do street photography and it's really hard to sell street photography for anything other than maybe editorial. Do you have any ideas? And my idea was run some local photography tours. List yourself somewhere like Airbnb. Airbnb, everybody knows it for apartments. We got this apartment on Airbnb. But there's also Airbnb experiences. And what you can do is list yourself on Airbnb as an experience. So I told this guy, list yourself on Airbnb experiences as a street photography tour and then take people that book your tour on street photography tours around your city. I think there's so much demand for local, really local travel photography or just travel workshops or street photography workshops. Not even workshops, just tours. Just people wanna go out with a local and shoot 
They want to go with a local and find all those hot spots. They want to go with a local and get the best photos. So list yourself on a website like uh, like Airbnb. I'm sure there's thousands of other websites. I just don't know them. Next one is stock photography. Stock photography has been around for ages. And I know everybody has mixed feelings about stock photography. I have a video in depth about stock photography that's up here somewhere. Go check out that video. Stock photography, I'm not going to get into details on it because it is in this video up here, but stock photography is obviously a way to make money even if you don't have a social media follower. Art shows. This is one I didn't think about until recently and I really should have. I was listening to Nick Page's uh, photography podcast and he was talking with somebody who was selling prints at art shows. They were going around to different art shows. They would get a booth. The booth would cost $2,000, $3,000 or more, but then they were selling their prints on a really high volume and really to a high level consumer that was paying good money and they were making good money doing this. And the reason I said I should have thought of this earlier is because like three or four years ago, I have an aunt not three or four years ago. I currently have an aunt that um, is a really talented artist and she goes to art shows herself. That's how she makes her money from her art. She runs around all these art shows in Canada and sells her art. But the reason I should have thought about this was because three or four years ago, she took some of my photos and she put them on prints and she put them on greeting cards and she did a bunch of things and she actually made me pretty good money. And I remember her saying to me, hey, Brendan, I didn't really make that much money off your photos, but I did make X amount and I was blown away because I thought it was a lot of money. So art shows are a good way to make money from your photography. Blogging. Blogging is, I know you're going to say blogging is a social media following. It's not. You don't need a following to have a blog. In fact, all you need to do is put out really good content, find ways to get people to view it, usually via search, via SEO, search engine optimization. People get to your blog, they read an article about the EOS R, the 5D Mark IV, or the Nikon D850, or the Sony A7 R3, whatever the new camera is you're talking about reviewing or whatever photography skill set you're talking about or just anything photography related you're talking about, they search it, they find your site. On your site you have links. There are affiliate links to Amazon or to B&H or to whatever. Somebody clicks on the link to the EOS R, bounces them to, to Amazon, and you make money from any purchase that they make on Amazon over the next 24 hours. So even if they click on the link of the EOS R, go to Amazon and go, actually, I don't wanna buy a camera, but I do need to buy toilet paper, you get a cut on the toilet paper that they buy. It's not a big cut, but you do make money. <laughs> Photo contests. I hate photo contests. And I talked about Nick Page's um, photography podcast. I have my own. If you guys didn't know this, uh, there's a link in the description to my photography podcast over on my website. And I talked about my hate for photography contests, my, how I talked about how I think they're scams. But that being said, there are certain ways to make money from photography contests if you enter the right ones, or if you maybe use some of these contest websites. Viewbug.com is a big one. Years ago, three or four years ago, when Viewbug was starting to roll out, I used it, I made some, I didn't win money, I don't think, on Viewbug, but I did win some pretty big prizes. And so you might not win money, but you can win prizes, which then you could flip to money. The other one that's new that I haven't had a chance to review, but I've been talking to, I guess, the creator of, is shutout.com. Shutout.com is a contest app and website, and basically they run a contest, and then the best photo, the highest ranked photo wins money. So you can win money that way through your photography. Although I kind of feel like that's not how you should do it, but <laughs> you can do it. Be an assistant. This is something that's so underrated and I don't understand why more photographers don't do this. You should be an assistant and you should definitely be an assistant before you kind of become a pro. If you're a wedding photographer or an event photographer or a product photographer, you should try to find a professional in that area and offer to assist them. And yes, you can make money that way. A good assistant to a wedding photographer, they're going to make two, three, four hundred dollars a shoot. Event photography assistant second shooters are also going to make some decent money. So you can make money that way. And it's a great way not only to make money, but build your portfolio so that you can start getting these big jobs yourself. And it's a good way to practice. 
The next way is social media. And yes, I said this is a list of ways to make money from photography without having a social media following. You don't need a social media following to make money from your photography on social media. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of brands out there constantly looking for photos to put on their Instagram feeds. Every single destination in the world is looking for photographers that have really good content that they can put on their feed. If you live in New York City, for example, there are hundreds of brands in New York City, destinations, hotels, whatever, that are looking for photos to put on their Instagram. So if you have a cool portfolio full of images of New York City, pitch them to these brands, say, hey, this is my price for social media usage, so I'm gonna charge you $50 an image, and then you'll have the non-exclusive rights to use it on your social media feeds. Good way to make some money. If your images are good enough, people will buy it. You just have to do the pitching. Journalism. Journalism is hard. It's not glamorous, even though people kind of make it out to be. But being a photojournalist, there's money there. There's definitely money there. It just, it, yeah, it takes time, it takes work, and it's hard. Product photography. Every single product in the world needs photos of that product. And most brands, most companies, they don't have a photographer in-house. In fact, everybody's favorite YouTuber, Peter McKinnon, I think, and I'm not sure on this because I don't know Peter McKinnon, but I think he got his photography start in product photography. I think. Anybody who has stuff needs photos of it. If you're Blue Yeti mics, you need photos of your mic to sell. If you're Canon, you need photos of your lenses to sell. If you're Dell, you need photos of your, cam of your laptops to sell. Every single product needs photos of it. So you can work as a product photographer. There's lots of business there. Cars are a product, and I guess I'm also gonna lump into product photography, real estate photography, even though they're totally different. But real estate photography, there's a huge market for it, um, especially drone photos of houses, really good interior work. Product photography and real estate photography, there's a massive market for it. Teaching. There are so many people in the world that wanna learn photography right now and you don't need a big social media following to be a great photographer and a great photography teacher. So, you can teach photography. It's a good way to make some money from photography. Events and weddings. Obviously, I'm saving the best for last. This is number 12, events and weddings. I don't know how it is worldwide, but I know in North America, being a wedding photographer is really good money if you get to a status that you know you're busy. There's really good money in wedding photography. Event photography, the money's not as good, it's hard work, but there is money there. Any event that happens right now in the modern era, there's an event photographer there. Doesn't matter if it's a bar mitzvah, a baptism, a wedding, a social media event, a press conference, whatever, there's always an event photographer there and there's definitely money there. Um, that's it, guys and girls. That is it for the show today. Those are 12, I guess maybe even 13 different ways you can make money from photography without having a social media following. I think that there's so many people that get caught up in social media followings that they kind of, you know, forget that there's other ways to do it. I also want to kind of drive home the point here at the end of this video in saying that you should be trying to grow a social media following. Just because you don't need it doesn't mean it's not going to be helpful to your business. Social media is a massive marketing tool. It's a massive way of finding clients and it's a massive way of scaling and growing your business. So don't neglect social media. And as I said at the start of this video, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to talk about Instagram and how you can authentically grow your Instagram. I don't know, maybe at some point in the next two weeks or so. In the meantime, we're back to vlogging. No more sit down videos, I hope, for a while. And uh, we're going whale watching. We're gonna go landscape photography shooting. We're eventually leaving Cape Town for a little bit to go on a road trip. There's tons of fun stuff coming up on the channel, out on the road, travel photography style. And I hope to see you there. Peace.